If you run an online business, then you frequently have to verify customers. The way that most people do this is through a telephone call. And as we all know, uh, placing a telephone call can be very effective because there's a lot of frauders that don't even answer the phone. They don't even go that far. However, there's some that do, and when they do, uh, of course, there's always a geographical quiz that you can use in order to help uh, confirm their location and that uh, they're legitimate, legitimately located at the address that you would see in, for example, some PayPal details. However, that doesn't always work. And so I'm going to share a new uh, technique that I'm now using. It's free and is very effective, uh, especially on a uh, psychological level. And uh, what my technique is, is that I, I first call up a person and I, I say, hey, my name's Clancy Kennedy. I provide order verification and fraud response services for autobodyparts.com or whatever website we're talking about. And uh, right away, I almost sound like a third party. I provide verification and oh my god fraud response services so that means if they commit fraud then there's going to be some kind of a response right so right in the first sentence of my calling script I'm saying something that's going to be a little bit intimidating for a frauder particularly in an event of friendly fraud uh, which is when uh, pretty much a child or a friend or a family member gets on someone else's PayPal account that lives in the same household. Okay, so my uh, calling script continues. I'm calling this number to speak with Matthew Brompton to confirm some details for an order that was just placed on this website. Before approving this order, I need to confirm a few details. The first is your location. And so at this point, the script says that, okay, the order was placed, but now I'm confirming. First of all, I'm from some kind of a fraud company is, is how it sounds. Uh, and second of all, the order had something that might have been suspicious because now I'm calling them to confirm some details about it. And so we uh, go ahead. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to confirm is your location. Okay, that's not so bad. We do a quick geographical quiz. Um, one update to that is that I no longer ask someone for a nearby crossroads. I simply ask them how to get to a nearby uh, crossroad or how to get to a nearby McDonald's or a high school. Both of those are uh, very uh, effective. Most people know those things. Uh, okay, next we continue with our script. Next, I'd like to confirm your identity. So I'm going to ask three yes or no questions, and I would like to get a voice sample by recording your yes or no responses. Do I have your permission to do so? So uh, I'm telling them that I'm going to record their voice. Oh my god. Well, here we go. Um, their voice is something that identifies them to their friends, to their family member, anybody in the same household. Uh, not only that, but I'm going to ask some questions. We're going to get to that in a moment. Uh, but also, I'm recording their voice. That means I'm using some technology. I'm not just some little mom and pop uh, website. I'm something intimidating. I have power. Uh, and obviously, uh, part of this reason why I'm recording their voice isn't just to hear them say yes, so I can use it against them. And so now I have ammunition. Uh, and so uh, after they say yes, because most people do, all, they, all they're doing is saying yes three times into the phone, right? Who's, who's going to say no to that? A frauder and pretty much nobody else. Okay, so I say, all right, thank you. Uh, first question is, are you Matthew Brompton? Uh, will you confirm that for me? And they say, yes. And I say, is 555-457-4872 your phone number? Okay, so far um, I've had them confirm their identity, 
which uh, kind of sets the grounds for identity fraud if they're lying to me. And that's a little bit bigger than uh, petty theft, as I understand it. Okay, uh, moving forward, now I just ask them for their phone number. And so now, in the event that they commit some kind of a fraud, um, I have them on record saying, yeah, I'm the owner of that telephone. And, uh, of course, most people know, well, a lot of people know, they're going to guess anyway, that their telephone number can be used to track them down, even if it's a cell phone number. Okay, continuing, I just ask a final question. Have you placed an order with Auto Body Parts in the amount of $80? And so they say yes. And that third question uh, confirms that they used a payment account of some sort in order to send that money. And so uh, in the event that something like this were to be admitted in court, I don't even know if it is admissible, probably not. I have them on record saying, yeah, I made that payment. I'm guilty. And so after they say yes to that, I say, thank you for your cooperation. I'm going to mark this order as approved for processing. If you have any questions about processing, such as getting a progress report, you can use either the email or the uh, chat support system available at the website where you have placed your order. Thank you for your business and have a great day. And of course, in the end, through the entire script, I'm saying that website, that website, I do this and the order came from that website. Uh, the entire script reinforces the perception that I'm a third party and um, I focus on not only uh, identity verification and uh, handling the orders, but fraud response. And that's what makes this script so powerful. It's free, it's on my website, and the link uh, to that uh, in order to actually see the uh, script and also see some additional details. Uh, I got some special prizes for you if you click on that link. Uh, one is uh, further analysis on the script as well as a calling script that you can use in the event that they're unable to pick up the phone and you have to leave a message. Uh, anyway, uh, just go over to the top right hand corner of your YouTube page, click on more info, and you're going to see the link in my video description. Thanks for watching.